Hey Libra, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. This is your general love reading. We're going to take a look and see what's going on for Libras, right? Take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, if it hits home, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Your bonus extended reading is up on Vimeo for this week of October, Spy Time. We're spying on your person to see what's going on behind the scenes, okay? If you want a personal love reading, all the details are in the description box. Check me out. Um, my Etsy shop has my personal readings, my tarot, my oracle decks, my conjure oils, all that. So favorite my shop. Connect with me, Instagram, Facebook, if you're interested. All right, let's jump right in. Libra, what is the challenge for Libras in love? What is the challenge that they're facing in love? Libra, we have the King of Pentacles in reverse, okay? So I feel like a lot of you guys, you are in a situation here where I'm getting someone here isn't invested as much as you are. I feel like there's someone who expects a lot from you but doesn't give much in return. I'm getting someone who's stingy, maybe a little bit selfish, okay, with their time, their energy. Um, and there may be a situation here where you may have wanted something, um, some kind of security, stability from this person, but I feel like they were not able to give you that, okay? So Libra, we also have the Chariot. We have the seven of cups in verse. I feel like Libra right now, a lot of you guys are trying to get out of this place of confusion. You're trying to move forward in some new direction. This could be you wanting to be victorious regarding a situation with someone, or it could be leaving and moving toward another direction, right? So there's something here that may have brought confusion to your life, but I see you moving away from it, okay? It could be dealing with a cancer. In a recent past, Libra, we have the queen of cups in reverse. We have the four of swords in reverse. And we have the double. In a recent past, I feel like there was someone here that you were tied to. Maybe in a very unhealthy way, okay? The double could be indicating of some kind of bondage, codependent connection. Um, I feel like this was someone here who wasn't very loving, Libra. I feel like they were not giving you their love. They were very close off to love, okay? And I feel like you felt robbed of love. Okay, so there's a situation here in a recent past, Libra. I do feel like it brought you a lot of stress. Some of you guys, you had to just disconnect from this person. I'm getting like take a break, okay? Four of Swords can be indicating of resting, regrouping, um, taking time to yourself, right? Taking back your energy. All right, so it could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Capricorn. All right, so Libra, what's on your mind? Let's see what's in your energy on your mind. Libra, we have the lovers. So some kind of big decision you're having to make regarding a connection here that you're in. We have the magician in reverse. And we have the hermit in reverse. Could be a Virgo, could be a Gemini um, as well. Libra, I think there's something here where you're having to go within. You're having to do a lot of thinking, a lot of soul searching, introspection, reflection on a situation here, okay? Because I'm seeing that something here may have not been working out. Maybe it was like you wanted to manifest something, but this person didn't. I feel like there was something here where you feel powerless over a situation regarding someone, okay? But there is a decision you're having to make with the lover's card. Do I want to continue to move forward, okay? In what direction? The chariot. So let's see what's in the foundation, in the foundation, we have the two of pentacles, we have the six of rods, and we have the knight of cups in reverse. I feel like there's someone here, Libra, in a foundation that obviously wants a victory with you. They want to achieve something, okay? We're going to see what that's all about. But I also feel like they're not willingly coming to you with their love, okay? This is someone who could be very, again, closed off emotionally, um, have issues with being vulnerable or intimate with you, okay? They're not sharing, sharing their cup, okay? Again, very stingy, especially if dealing with that King of Pentacles in reverse energy, okay? But there's something here where they're trying to decide, okay? And I think that's why the Knight of Cups is coming out in reverse, because they're unsure. Now, some of you guys, they could be offering someone else love which is why they're in the two of pentacles energy they're going back and forth maybe juggling the idea of having a victory with you and offering you love or someone else okay so let's see what the outcome looks like the outcome is the ten of pentacles in reverse the eight of cups in reverse and the page of swords in reverse okay so libra i feel like there's a situation here where someone definitely wants to return to you but i also feel like this is something here libra that may not be very stable or maybe you are very conflicted um you know trying to decipher if this can be stable right because i see with the page of swords there's something about you trying to find out more information because there's something here you feel like you're not seeing you're unaware of um some of you guys you may be having to gather more information or do some more work to find out something here if this is someone that you want to go back to or if you're going to allow this person to come back in okay because someone definitely wants to return all right so libra let's jump right in let's get you your messages libra summarizing venus 
Let me find out about the Seven of Cups. Your bonus reading extended is up on Vimeo for this week. Spying on your person, okay? So let's see what the Seven of Cups is about. A lot of confusion as to where you sit with this person. Maybe there were other options in love. Seven of Cups is clarified by the Empress and the Two Swords in reverse. And the Hermit. So Libra, I see that there's a situation here where you may have saw a lot of growth with this person. There's a lot of love. I feel like at one point, it's like when you guys came together, it felt really amazing. It felt good. The Empress is about new beginnings, right? Something flourishing, taking off. But I also see that there was a decision that someone had to make, okay? I also feel like the decision could have been regarding other people, other options, right? Because Libra, there was some kind of confusion. And I feel like the confusion really took a toll on you. The Hermit is telling me that some of you guys, you may have decided to disconnect from this person for the time being while they made a decision okay it was like i do feel that the empress could also have been a third party right they may have been nurturing another connection outside of the connection with you and so libra someone had to make a decision now some of you guys libra you may have decided to cut this person off and move in a new direction with the chariot okay you may have decided to you know what i'm not going to be just another option and two swords in verse you made a head of a heart decision and disconnect from this person with the hermit okay and decided to work on yourself the chariot is telling me that whatever you did Libra, it's allowing you to be victorious. Yeah, look at this. See? So Libra, whatever you're doing, I see the chariot is about moving forward, being victorious, right? Um, six of Swords clarified. Um, well, the, I'm sorry. The chariot is clarified by the Six of Swords and the Queen of Wands. A lot of you guys are doing what you're being called to do right? You're letting go. You're moving away from some kind of drama filled situation, some kind of conflict or challenge that this person has brought to your life. You're letting go. You're moving away from it and trying to go into peaceful, calm waters. And that is giving you victory over a situation here with the chariot. You're moving forward. The queen of wands, there's something that you're very passionate about, but you're also standing up for yourself because the queen of wands, she doesn't allow people to kind of just walk over her, right? She stands strong. She's passionate. She knows what she wants. So give me the recent past. Um, let's clarify the devil, okay? In the past, some of you guys, it could have just been a Capricorn in your life, but it also could be something that you were tied to or bound to, at least you felt you were bound to. Why is the devil card in the recent past? The devil is clarified by the Ten of Wands and the Four of Wands. <laughs> So the devil is really speaking about there's some kind of situation um, in a home, okay? That's probably why there could be like a codependent connection. Maybe you had a child together. Maybe you share a child or have a home together or finances together. There's something here about maybe even marriage for some of you guys. You were married to this person, but it was very burdensome. The Ten of Wands, it was very difficult. There was a lot of responsibilities you carried. You felt like you were doing everything yourself and it became too heavy, some of you guys, there was some kind of emotional burden, uh, burdensome situation that you're trying to part ways with or from. And I feel like this person was just not loving. The Queen of Cups came out in the verse. They were very cold, maybe jealous, um, moody. Why is the, <laughs> why is the force, I'm, I'm laughing moody because I'm like, I'm a Queen of Cups, I'm a Cancer, and hell yeah, I'm moody sometimes. Uh, why is the Four of Swords here? Why is the Four of Swords in a recent past Libra? Um, page of swords and verse with the queen of swords and verse. That's your energy. I feel a lot of you guys, um, Libra, there's someone that you cut off, but this is obvious why you cut this person off, right? They were on, they were dishonest. They were not being truthful with you. It was almost like you had to constantly find out more information or ask other people about what was going on. There was something about you asked this person and they would not tell you what really happened. So there's something about you, um, Libra dealing with someone that just brought a lot of stress. You couldn't trust them. Okay, and there was just a lack of clarity, and I feel like very strongly that you guys had to stop communicating with this person with the Four of Swords, okay, and a Hermit. All right, so let me see what is going on, Libra, and your energy. We have the Hermit. Why is the Hermit here? Hermit is clarified by the Four Cups and the Lovers. The Lovers card came out twice. <laughs> Libra, you're still very much tied to this person. There's a decision you're trying to make. I feel what's on your mind is to decide if you want to give this another shot or do you want to just miss an opportunity and, you know, move forward in a new direction. The Four Cups is literally like, you know, some kind of rejection. Some of you guys, you felt rejected by this person, but at the same time, you feel like you're meant to be with this person with the lover's card. So it's almost like you're being split. I'm getting in two different directions. It's like you really want to manifest this with this person, but you feel powerless over the situation. You feel like you have no control. And yeah, you don't have control over this person at all, right? So you have to decide. There's a decision you're having to make. Why is the magician card in reverse? The magician is clarified by the star, the world, and the wheel of fortune in reverse. Okay, wow. 
<laughs> wow, Libra. Okay, I feel like this is all happening for a reason. The world, the wheel. There's something with the wheel in the verse. It's like it's not going obviously the way that you anticipated. But there's a higher reason for this. There's a reason for this that you may not even know. It's not being revealed to you. Okay, the universe is definitely working behind the scenes in this connection. I feel with the star. This is something about Libra. What is it that you wish for? What is it that you truly desire? Okay, what is going to make you happy? There's something about you manifesting what you really want and not manifesting it just because you think, oh, we're supposed to be together. Oh, we, we spent X number of years together. No, manifest what you want. And there's something here regarding um, some lesson here. Libra, seeing your work, seeing, your, um, seeing what you bring to the table. Right? Because you had that Queen of Wands energy. Some of you guys, you are in that Queen of Wands energy. But I feel that there's something, Libra, that you really, really wish and desire for that you really, really is going to make you happy. But it's also... I'm getting being cautious and being sure not to manifest something just because you feel like, oh, we're, we're supposed to be together. Is this person really going to make you happy? Right? Because there's some kind of disappointment in a past situation or just feeling as if this person didn't really appreciate you. You felt rejected. So let me see what's going on in the foundation. Um, I feel like this person definitely has some issues regarding showing love. Being available in love. Why is the two of pentacles here? There's some kind of decision they're making going back and forth about coming to you with a love offer. Why is the two of pentacles here? Ace of cups and verse of four of pentacles. I feel like this is someone who definitely wants to offer you um, a new love opportunity with the ace of cups, but they're not offering it just yet. This is someone who's very stingy. I already told you that this person's stingy, right? I keep saying that. This person is very stingy, but they're also I'm getting ego. They're holding back. Four pentacles. It's like they don't want to make the first move. They don't want to make the first initiative, right? And so they're kind of like holding on to their coins, being very closed off with their time, their energy, their efforts. But why is the six of rods here? This person cares a lot about what other people think and how people perceive them. Three of pentacles and verse the eight of wands. Yeah, this person definitely... They're acting as if they're not affected by this break up or breakdown in the connection. This is someone who's eventually going to communicate with the Eight of Wands. I see some kind of communication coming through to you, Libra. And it's about you guys not being on the same page anymore. It's about them wanting to be victorious, wanting to win you back, wanting to win your attention. Okay? They definitely want your attention. I feel like there's communication coming in to, uh, to get your attention. It could be a DM. It could be a text message. It could be an email. But this is someone who wants to communicate because they feel like you're not on the same page with them. Why is the Knight of Cups in reverse here? Why is the Knight of Cups in reverse? This person, this person is not offering their cup just yet. Why? Why? The Five of Wands with the King of Cups in reverse. Because this person is being very emotionally manipulative. Okay? The King of Cups. They don't want to show their true feelings. They have all these feelings for you, Libra, but they have a really difficult time in showing it, okay? So they're holding back. And I also see with the five of wands, it's just, it's killing them. <laughs> they're in conflict about their feelings for you, okay? That's what it's telling me. And they also feel like there's a lot of resistance between you and them. So it's like they can't just openly, you know, come to you and, you know, say, hey, this is how I feel for you, Libra. So this is someone who's definitely not showing any feelings they're, they're acting as if they're they don't care for you but they do because we have the knight of cups the king of cups there's a lot of love here but they're being very very deceptive now let me see what's going on why is the eight of cups in verse this is someone who's watching you okay um maybe asking mutual friends about you checking your social media instagram facebook snapchat that kind of thing why is the eight of cups in reverse here for libra why do they want to come back the Ten of Cups in verse, the King of Pentacles in verse, the Ace of Swords in verse. So, this person wants to come back because there's a lot of things that have been left unspoken, okay? It's telling me that this is someone who certainly could have been greedy, but they're realizing that they have all this, I'm getting, whether it, it could be friends or wealth or money, whatever. There's something here about this person having everything except you, and it actually doesn't mean anything to them because they don't have happiness, the Ten of Cups in verse, okay? So this is someone who thought that they're going to be happy and, you know, hold on to their coins, you know, deprive you of love and everything. Then now they're realizing that they're not they're not happy. They have no love in their life, right? They may have, you know, money or assets or something or a good paying job. But the truth is, is that they're not happy. And so there's someone here who's been holding back the truth. They've been holding back a lot. Um, there's something here they want to say to you, okay? And it's regarding them not being in the place that they actually want to be because they don't have you in their life. Why is the page of swords in verse? They're not telling you something. Page of wands, ace of pentacles, and three cups. Wow. 
they're not telling you that they actually want to come together. There's someone here who may want to, um, page of wands, they may come to you with like a passionate exchange or communication. It could be, again, just a message, something small. Page of wands is just like a little, you know, hey, how's it going? You know, I'm thinking of you. Oh, I miss you. You know, may not even be that much. But the page of wands is essentially some kind of message coming through to change the direction at which this is going. What is also tell me is that the three cups, they want to come back and let's let's get together. Let's have coffee. Let's have a drink, you know, um, very casual. But like, let's let's essentially reconcile. So this person's intention is to reconcile so that they can offer some kind of new beginning with you and them. The Ace of Pentacles, this definitely looks like it's they want to move in that direction toward having a new beginning. Um, and so they may be gathering information about you, the Page of Swords and right now, okay, Page of Swords and Verse right now because they want to um, decipher where things are between you and them. When's the opportunity or best opportunity to come in? So that is what I'm seeing, Libra. Let's get the clarity on the, um, clarity on the King of Pentacles goes reverse why is this person in the king of pentacles in reverse oh the messenger the hierophant the five of cups <laughs> and eight of pentacles in reverse i feel like this is someone who definitely is keeping themselves occupied doing other things work you know acting as if they're busy but they're not because look at their energy five of cups <sighs> <laughs> they're crying crying over spilled milk because there's something here that they they wish that they had done better regarding you there's something regarding a commitment okay the messenger that's the commitment card but i also feel like they want to send you a message or something here about them wanting to communicate to you um and it's about a miss a missed opportunity or something here where they feel they regret they regret not um speaking their feelings they regret treating you poorly right not investing enough eight of pentacles and verse so this is definitely someone here um taurus or capricorn it could be anybody but it could be definitely someone who's stingy okay stingy and selfish they definitely want to come back in your life so there's some something here they want to speak their truth okay they're having a difficult time expressing their feelings but they are gonna come back so that they can get back to this ace of pentacles with you okay a new opportunity all right so libra that is what i have for you guys like sure comment and subscribe if this is your reading um check out the bonus extended reading if you want to check out what's going on with your person behind the scenes i'm spying on them okay it's in the description box. All right, Libra, I'll check you guys out later.